Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a natural studio fade out in Reaper, which is based on a feature that's included in Audacity, which is another option of a fade out called studio fade out, where instead of just using volume to fade, we also filter the top end. So let's take a look at how to do this in Reaper. I have a project set up here where I want to create a fade out. And I've already set up a marker where I want my fade to start and end. Let's hear what it sounds like now. So we want to fade it out by this point. So we'll start out by going up here to the view menu and showing the master track. Because here's the place where we want to fade our volume. I'll select the master track, type V for volume, and that creates a volume envelope for the master track. Now we could just start drawing this in or creating some envelope points. I'll hold on the shift key and click right here to create a point there, and another one where it should fade out. And just drag it to the bottom, which is going to create a linear fade. But I think that fades out a bit too quick. So we could use different shapes if we want, or just customize it by holding down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just dragging right in the middle of the two points, like this, to create a slower fade in the beginning and a faster one at the end. So it'll sound more like this. Now it does sound better, but we could also do this manually. We could right click over here and change the automation mode to right and just ride the fader or knob to create a fade like this. And I can make this even smoother by right clicking over here and choosing to reduce the number of points, which opens up this dialog. We can move it over to the left and bring it up to a smoother version of what we recorded. Bring it down so we're just seeing less points, something like this. And what's here on manual fade out? We'll switch the automation mode back to read. And let's hear this. I think that sounds a lot better, more natural fade. But to create the studio fade out feature, we need to fade the top end of our mix as well, using its own envelope. So let's go to the effects on the master track, and let's hit a filter after these plugins. We'll type filter up here, and I'm gonna choose this plugin right here called RBJ High Pass Low Pass Filters. We'll double click this to add it in. Let's double click this one to float it and put it over here. Now this plugin has a high pass filter and a low pass filter. And to recreate that feature in Audacity, we just want to automate the low pass filter. So we're going to automate this parameter. But before we do that, notice if I bring this all the way down, it only goes down to a thousand hertz or one kilohertz. I want to bring it down to a hundred. So what I'm going to do is go to edit this plugin 
And right down here on the slider two, just change this from 22,000 to 1,000 to 22,000 to 100. Then we'll save it and close this. And now this parameter goes all the way down to 100 Hertz. So now we're going to automate this parameter. We'll touch it as the last touched parameter, go to the menu and show the track envelope for that parameter, which shows up down here. So we do the same thing and create some points, hold the shift key, put one here and here and bring this down. But again, this is going to be linear. Instead, let's hold an alt on the PC option on the Mac and readjust the curve for the low pass filter, which filters out the top end. But to hear this clearer, let's first turn off our volume envelope right here. So we're just going to hear our filter and adjust it on the fly. Notice how it filters out all the top end slowly over time. Now let's hit with the volume envelope, turn back on. So you can hear the volume over here and our filter over here, which should create a more natural effect as when sounds naturally move away from us, they sound more filtered. I think that's a more natural effect. Again, replicating the feature in Audacity called Studio Fade Out. And we could tweak it by holding down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac to make it more subtle or more obvious. Let's try bringing it down a bit quicker like this. Still a cool, interesting effect, but I think it's a bit much. So let's put it back to the other setting and let's try adding to this feature. Now this isn't part of the Audacity feature, but I like to try this for certain types of fades. We could add in a high pass filter over here, the same way we added this one. We'll select it as a less touched parameter, go up here and show the track envelope for that parameter which looks like this. Again, let's create some points. Hold on the shift key, click here and here. But this time we're gonna bring it up on this side. Bring the filter all the way up and adjust the curve the same way. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac and adjust it from here. And to hear it better, let's turn off the volume again. Now we're just hearing the filters. It almost creates an AM radio effect as the sound moves further away from us. Let's hear it again with the volume back on. And again, we can make it more obvious by adjusting this curve and adjusting this curve like this.
makes a nice dramatic effect, but I think it's a bit too creative. It's a little more subtle the previous way with the curves like this. And again, if you want to mimic the audacity effect, we wouldn't use the high pass filter. We were filtering the low end. We would turn this off or obviously not use it at all. But either way, more obvious or more subtle, I do prefer to filter out the mix as it's fading out in volume. I find it to be a lot more natural. So that's pretty much it. That's creating a natural studio fade out in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it and I'll see you next time. Bingo, boys, let's go.